Hi, this is Steve here. Okay, this is, uh, I believe, part eight. Uh, okay, so the face now of the uh, Welch Spring and Company is almost put back together. I have the wing finials on the top. They're glued on. And I'm gluing up the bottom wings on, on uh, the case. Now, you can see I'm using... Uh, elastic bands so modern glue needs two things it needs clamping pressure uh, a clean surface and clamping pressure to work effectively so that doesn't mean you have to pull out the big dogs to do that you just use a little mild pressure and this allows you with an elastic band so you have used three elastic bands just to hold the fittings in okay and uh, that will dry like that and just that little bit of clamping pressure will affect a good glue joint so this little corner piece is not set yet because it's warped as the case warped over the years the, the, the end lifted up here so i i glued it back together the tip of it broke off and i repaired it but i think i'm just going to glue it in place and leave it because if I mess with that, it's just going to keep cracking. So, uh, I mean, it's 140 years old, so you can only recover what you can recover, right? So, uh, that's not the hill I want to die on. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of glue that in place after this is set up. And you can see the old color. And once I, I, I have to look at how it waxes up. And if it doesn't attain a color similar to that, I'm going to have to strip the whole uh, the whole case but it's back together my glue joints look pretty good um, now I'm going to start on the box of the case and uh, sand all that and get it all nice and purdy so uh, this is part 8 of the uh, Welch Spring and Company uh, perpetual calendar clock coming along thanks a lot bye